Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do Naruto Chapter 598 Review. We are two chapters away from the Big 600. Now, this chapter of Naruto, uh, I'll, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I'll be very, very honest. This chapter of Naruto is a great chapter of Naruto, no doubt. It is a great chapter of Naruto. It is. It is a great chapter of Naruto. It is, because we were seeing, uh, well, first of all, we saw the Bijou Dama. It was a pretty big-ass Bijou Dama, the Naruto Naden Bijou Modo. And then we saw that, you know, Toby had the, we finally see that Mangeki Sharingan. And, oh, yeah, it's the same Mangeki Sharingan that Kakashi has in his left eye, which confirms that they both got their eyes from the same person, which was Obito. Which confirms that the eye that Obito ha that the right eye of Obito did not get crushed by a boulder. Okay, all right. I uh, don't know how, but okay. And then we see Naruto and Kakashi formulate that plan, where we see uh, Killer B take the brunt of all those Reitsu spike type thingies that were there to suppress uh, Tail B's chakra. We see that uh, because, you know, they faked out Toby, they, because Toby thought that they were going to do the same thing with the Rasengan and the Kamui, but, in, but instead, Kakashi sucks in that entire Naruto, or maybe the Naruto clone, I'm not sure which one it was, but um, we see him sucking the entire, you know, full-body Bijou Naruto inside the same dimension that Toby lies in, so when the other Naruto in Bijou mode performed the Bijou Dama, and Toby got sucked into it, and then Toby went into his other dimension, there's already a Naruto there waiting for him. And then we see him take the Rasengan, and then, ugh, who are you? And then slams that shit on his mask, and then the mask shatters, and then it seems as if next chapter we are finally gonna find out who Toby is. Now, you guys should already know, I don't give a fuck, but, I mean, I, see, here's the thing, alright, the chapter is a great chapter of Naruto, doesn't mean that I liked it, alright, I mean, I liked a few parts here and there, right, I like the Bijou Dama, I do, that shit was fire, I'm like, yo, that's a big ass Bijou Dama, okay, that's pretty really damn cool, um, how Kakashi and Naruto formulated the plan, that was cool, that was good, that was good, you know, good thinking, in my opinion, the chapter is good, but it is a great chapter. Um, it is a great chapter structurally, uh, from from a story from a uh, from a storytelling standpoint. It is a great chapter because we are seeing or we are getting to that climax of who Toby is. Um, now, my only thing here is that is that what you know. Like, I have a few gripes. I have a few 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 gripes. The first one is like. Did he really just perform a Shadow Clone in Bijou? Like, oh, what the fuck? Wow, like, overpowered. Like, <laughs> can someone say overpowered? Like, fuck. Like, seriously? I mean, I was okay. I mean, I, well, no, I wasn't okay. But I, w I accepted that he can perform Chakra Mode and Sage Mode clones when the original clone is in Bijou Mode. But now he can make other clones in Bijou Mode? When he's in Bijou mode? Wow. Um, wow. Just like, wow. That's, that's, that's all I can say. My fucking wow. Wow. I mean. Man. Clones. Bijou mode. Bijou mode clones. What's next? Full body fox. Full body fox clones now? Like what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Like fuck. I don't know. Just to. To me, it shouldn't be possible. To me, to me, it's kind of like what the fuck, you know. Um, and then the second thing, and then I, I may do a summary on this chapter depending on how I feel. I probably will, but it'd be like really, really fucking quick. But um, the second thing is why the fuck, like Toby, my name is Toby, like yeah, dude, Toby, what? You have a fucking mini gun. Do do some shit with it, like do. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Like, dude, do you know? Th th does Toby not realize? 
that this situation could be easily amended if he actually performed Renegon maneuvers? Like, if he actually had the animal... Like, how convenient would it be if he could actually make the animal realm shit and start summoning animals to assist him in combat? Oh shit, Toby! I said, it doesn't take a fucking genius to realize that big ass animals can actually help you in this situation. Like, seriously. Um, Almighty Push? Hello? What the fuck? Yo! That would be so convenient at this time! Oh god, here comes a Bijou Bomb! Oh shit, here's Naruto in this dimension! Guy from the left, Killer B from the right, Kakashi from above, what can I do? Uh, oh my god, Tra uh, time migration, no, space time migration, uh, like no, almighty push these fuckers away, just do it, man. Almighty push and say, fuck it. Like, what the fuck are you do? Naruto, uh, Rasengan, who are you? Like, absorb that shit, you got a fucking mini god, absorb that shit, man, what are you Ah, I don't get it. Like I, I'm, I'm so confused. Like I don't, I don't get it. Like he could have easily, easily absorbed that Rasengan if he utilized the fucking Renegon. I mean, he sees Naruto in his dimension, and all of a sudden he, he's having like he's having like an internal monologue. Like, oh my god, what do I do? Kakashi, you're so smart. You tricked me. Oh my god. Oh my, like, dude, just absorb that shit. Like, wait, what, 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 what are you doing? I'm so confused. I mean, this was the same dude who claimed that he gave Nagato the Rinnegan. So, technically, by all, by all standards, uh, Nagato is not an original Rinnegan user. He wasn't born with it since it was given to him. So, if he can perform the shit, like the Ashra Path, and the God realm, and, and 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 the animal realm, and the ghost realm, and all this shit. Then why the fuck can't Toby? Like it's it's it's. I don't know, but I mean, all I'm saying is that this shit could have easily been fixed if he had pulled some Renegon shit. I mean, I'm just thinking. I'm honest to God thinking that that the only reason why he's not doing Renegon shit is because Kishimoto just wants to show us. Who the fuck Toby is? And then all of a sudden, once we see who Toby is, all of a sudden, now he's gonna pull out the Renegon shit. Now he's gonna be like, Almighty Bush, and fucking animal shit. And it's gonna be like, why the fuck didn't you do that in the first place? So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But basically, when it comes to a chapter summary, I'll do it real quick. Chapter summary is that Naruto goes in there with some, you know, with some more brand new shit. Uh, we're seeing him, like, he starts off with some big ass, like, Ju um, uh, Bijou. Uh, claw type thing, and he runs in there while Kakashi and Guy are contemplating. Well, Kakashi's contemplating, like, who is he? Who is he? At the same time, uh, what happens here is that, uh, what happens is that Toby starts, uh, he starts, uh, throwing out a few things from his, uh, eye. He starts throwing out, he starts throwing out, like, these big ass, you know, shuriken that even cut through, uh, that even cut through, uh, kill, uh Killer Beast's octo tentacle. And then, uh, that, yeah, that sounds kind of wrong in a way, you know. But basically, big ass shuriken. And then at some point, Naruto makes his own, uh, he makes his own, uh, blah, 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 blah. He makes his own, like, uh, bijou fox head thing, bites down on the shuriken, and then stops that shit. He's like, I'm not alone. I have you, I have Karama, I got, I got, uh, my guy, well, no, uh, Bushy Brows, uh, Sensei, and then I have Kaki Sensei. And then we see Tobe, and we see Kakashi, and we see them pull out their Mangeku Sharingan's confirmation. Obito Sharingan, Obito, yeah, you know. So yeah, obviously. And then after this point in time, we see Naruto. He's uh, well, Naruto makes a clone. He first makes a clone, which I was like, what the fuck, bro? And then what happens is that Toby starts releasing all these like weird, you know, like spear type things full of chakra that suppress Bijou shit. Um, actually, no, then, now he makes the clone, because Naruto was running towards him. And then now he makes the clone, and then, you know, one clone starts preparing for a Bijou Dama, while the other one goes in there with a Rasengan. Kakashi takes that full body Naruto, and he sends him to the same dimension as Tobi. And then the other Naruto performs the Bijou Dama, big ass Bijou Dama. And then what happens is that Tobi, I, I don't know if the thing actually exploded. 
or if he got sucked inside the Biju Dama. I'm not too sure. But either way, he transmigrates through the Biju Dama, and thus his whole entire body is inside the other dimension. The other Naruto is there waiting for him. Rushing in. Who are you? And then, you know, right there, there is the end of the chapter. So next week, we should get confirmation as to who Toby is. Again, in my opinion, who Toby is is not fucking important. Because why? Because the progenitor of all things that exist in the Naruto world is on his way. And some dude's face is way less important than some creature that can swallow oceans and carry continents. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, overall... Great chapter, Naruto. In my personal opinion, it was good. There were still a few things that I was like, what the fuck? But, you know, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and bitch and complain forever about the clones and the Sharingan. Though I will say, once again, the Rinnegan shit's like, bro, where the fuck is it? Where the fuck is the Rinnegan shit? I mean, yo. I mean, how convenient would it be, yo? Absorb, uh, warp out, uh, animals, animals, animals. Almighty push. I I'm just saying. Just saying. So, that being said, King of Lightning, and I will see you guys later. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe as always. Facebook fan page down below, and I'm signing out. Be sure to have a nice day. Peace.